When it comes to managing pain, there are several options available, but two of the most common analgesics are aspirin and ibuprofen. Both medications are popular choices for pain relief, but what sets them apart? In this video, we will compare and contrast aspirin and ibuprofen to help you make an informed decision about which one may be right for you. Aspirin, a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, has been used for decades to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and lower fever. On the other hand, ibuprofen, also an NSAID, is known for its analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. Both drugs work by inhibiting the production of specific chemicals in the body that cause pain and inflammation. In our comparison, we will explore the similarities and differences between aspirin and ibuprofen in terms of effectiveness, potential side effects, duration of action, and recommended dosage. So, whether you're looking to ease a headache, reduce muscle pain, or alleviate menstrual cramps, join us as we delve into the world of pain relief medications and discover which one may be the best fit for your needs. What is aspirin? Aspirin, also known as acetylsalicylic acid, is a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, that has been widely used for its analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic properties. It was first synthesized in the late 19th century and has since become one of the most commonly used medications worldwide. Aspirin works by inhibiting the production of prostaglandins, which are chemical messengers in the body that play a key role in pain and inflammation. By blocking the production of these prostaglandins, aspirin helps alleviate pain and reduce inflammation. One of the unique features of aspirin is its ability to inhibit the aggregation of platelets, which are responsible for blood clot formation. This property makes aspirin an effective medication for preventing heart attacks and strokes in certain individuals. Despite its long history of use and widespread availability, aspirin is not without its side effects and risks. It can irritate the lining of the stomach and increase the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding, especially when taken in high doses or for prolonged periods. Aspirin is also not recommended for individuals with asthma or those who are allergic to salicylates. What is ibuprofen? Ibuprofen, like aspirin, is a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, that is commonly used for its analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. It was developed in the 1960s and has since become one of the most widely used over-the-counter medications. Similar to aspirin, ibuprofen works by inhibiting the production of prostaglandins, which are responsible for pain and inflammation. By reducing the levels of these chemical messengers, ibuprofen helps relieve pain, reduce swelling, and lower fever. One advantage of ibuprofen over aspirin is its shorter duration of action. While aspirin can remain active in the body for several days, ibuprofen is typically eliminated from the body within a few hours. This shorter duration of action can be beneficial for individuals who require more immediate pain relief or for those who prefer a medication that doesn't stay in the body for an extended period. However, ibuprofen is not without its risks and side effects. Like aspirin, it can irritate the stomach lining and increase the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. It may also cause fluid retention, elevated blood pressure, and kidney problems, especially when used in high doses or for prolonged periods. Mechanism of Action of Aspirin Aspirin exerts its analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic effects by inhibiting the enzyme cyclooxygenase, COX, which is responsible for the production of prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are lipid compounds that play a crucial role in inflammation, pain perception, and fever. By inhibiting COX, aspirin prevents the production of prostaglandins, thereby reducing pain, inflammation, and fever. This mechanism of action also contributes to aspirin's ability to inhibit platelet aggregation, making it an effective medication for preventing heart attacks and strokes. It is important to note that aspirin irreversibly binds to COX, meaning its effects on the enzyme are long-lasting. This is why a single dose of aspirin can provide pain relief for an extended period, but it also increases the risk of gastrointestinal side effects and bleeding. Mechanism of Action of Ibuprofen Ibuprofen, like aspirin, inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase, COX, to reduce the production of prostaglandins. However, unlike aspirin, ibuprofen reversibly binds to COX, meaning its effects on the enzyme are temporary. By blocking COX, ibuprofen reduces the production of prostaglandins, leading to pain relief, reduced inflammation, and lowered fever. The reversible binding of ibuprofen to COX allows for a shorter duration of action compared to aspirin, making it a suitable option for individuals seeking more immediate pain relief. It is worth noting that there are two isoforms of COX. COX-1 and COX-2. 
COX-1 is involved in maintaining normal physiological functions, such as protecting the lining of the stomach, while COX-2 is primarily responsible for inflammation and pain. Both aspirin and ibuprofen inhibit both isoforms to varying degrees, but ibuprofen is known to have a stronger preference for COX-2 inhibition. Differences between aspirin and ibuprofen While both aspirin and ibuprofen belong to the same class of medications, NSAIDs, and have similar mechanisms of action, there are several key differences between the two. One significant difference is the duration of action. Aspirin, due to its irreversible binding to COX, remains active in the body for an extended period, providing long-lasting pain relief. Ibuprofen, on the other hand, is eliminated from the body relatively quickly, resulting in a shorter duration of action. Another difference lies in their effects on platelets. Aspirin, by irreversibly inhibiting COX, inhibits the aggregation of platelets, making it an effective medication for preventing heart attacks and strokes. Ibuprofen, while having some minimal effects on platelets, does not possess the same antiplatelet properties as aspirin. Additionally, the preference of ibuprofen for COX-2 inhibition makes it a more selective NSAID in terms of reducing inflammation and pain without significantly affecting COX-1-mediated functions, such as protecting the stomach lining. This selectivity may result in a lower risk of gastrointestinal side effects compared to aspirin. Lastly, the availability and dosage forms of aspirin and ibuprofen differ. Aspirin is widely available over-the-counter in various formulations, including tablets, capsules, and chewable tablets. Ibuprofen is also available over-the-counter in similar formulations, but it is often marketed under different brand names. Efficacy of Aspirin versus Ibuprofen in Pain Relief Both aspirin and ibuprofen are effective analgesics for relieving pain, but their efficacy may vary depending on the type and severity of the pain. For mild to moderate pain, Ibuprofen is often the preferred choice due to its shorter duration of action and lower risk of gastrointestinal side effects. It is commonly used to alleviate headaches, toothaches, menstrual cramps, and muscle aches. Aspirin, on the other hand, may be more effective for certain types of pain, such as pain associated with inflammation. Its long-lasting effects and anti-inflammatory properties make it a suitable option for conditions like arthritis, rheumatism, and other inflammatory conditions. Ultimately, the choice between aspirin and ibuprofen for pain relief depends on individual factors, such as the type and severity of the pain, personal preference, and any underlying medical conditions. Side Effects and Risks of Aspirin While aspirin is generally safe when used as directed, it is not without its side effects and risks. Some of the common side effects of aspirin include stomach upset, heartburn, nausea, and indigestion. These gastrointestinal side effects are more likely to occur when aspirin is taken in high doses or for prolonged periods. One of the most significant risks associated with aspirin use is gastrointestinal bleeding. This risk increases with higher doses and prolonged use of aspirin. Individuals with a history of stomach ulcers, bleeding disorders, or those taking blood thinning medications are particularly susceptible to this risk. Aspirin also poses a risk of RISE syndrome in children and teenagers who have a viral infection, such as flu or chickenpox. Rye syndrome is a rare but potentially life-threatening condition characterized by liver and brain inflammation. It is important to note that aspirin should not be taken by individuals with asthma or those who are allergic to salicylates. Additionally, aspirin should be used with caution in individuals with kidney or liver disease, as it can further impair kidney function. Side Effects and Risks of Ibuprofen Like aspirin, ibuprofen can cause side effects, although they are generally less severe and less frequent. Common side effects of ibuprofen include stomach upset, heartburn, nausea, and dizziness. These side effects are usually temporary and resolve on their own. Ibuprofen also carries a risk of gastrointestinal bleeding, albeit at a lower level compared to aspirin. Individuals with a history of stomach ulcers, bleeding disorders, or those taking blood-thinning medications should exercise caution when using ibuprofen. Long-term use of ibuprofen, especially at high doses, may increase the risk of cardiovascular events, such as heart attacks and strokes. It is advisable to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible to minimize this risk. Individuals with kidney or liver disease should also use ibuprofen with caution, as it can impair kidney function and cause liver damage in rare cases. Conclusion. Choosing the right analgesic for pain relief. In conclusion, both aspirin and ibuprofen are effective analgesics for pain relief, but they differ in terms of duration of action, effects on platelets, selectivity for COX-2 inhibition, 
and risk of gastrointestinal side effects. Aspirin, with its long-lasting effects and antiplatelet properties, is particularly useful for conditions involving inflammation, such as arthritis. However, it carries a higher risk of gastrointestinal bleeding and is contraindicated in individuals with asthma or salicylate allergy. Ibuprofen, with its shorter duration of action and lower risk of gastrointestinal side effects, is often preferred for mild to moderate pain, such as headaches and muscle aches. It is generally well tolerated but should be used with caution in individuals with kidney or liver disease. Ultimately, the choice between aspirin and ibuprofen for pain relief should be based on individual factors, including the type and severity of the pain, personal preference, and any underlying medical conditions. It is advisable to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance on selecting the most suitable analgesic for your specific needs.